Solana here. Today I am doing a haul and it's been a little while since I've done one but I love doing haul videos so much but this is the most random haul video that I've ever done and I say that because this haul does not have a theme. It's not it wasn't meant to be spring themed or just clothes even for that matter. Like I have clothes, accessories, and even skincare products for this haul. So that's gonna be fun and exciting and I'm really excited to show you guys all of this. But the thing is, almost everything in this haul was stuff that I had gotten with gift cards that I had gotten from either Christmas or my birthday since my birthday was also the end of December. So you can probably guess that it took me a while to actually go and use these gift cards. But some of the clothes that I got just so happened to be more so spring related clothes which actually worked out since spring is coming up. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you had not already. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is actually not spring related and I actually did buy this myself, not with a gift card, and it is actually from H&M, but I have no clue where the bag to it went, but it is this 100% polyester sweater, and I loved this so much because it is gray, and it's kind of crazy because I wasn't actually out on a mission to look for a gray sweater, but I had actually been telling myself like, oh, you know, I really want to get a gray sweater. I don't have gray. And then I came across this one by accident and it was on sale too for only like 15 bucks. So that is why I got this one. I loved it too because it had a really chunky collar as well. And this thing is so, so soft. So I had to get it as well. Couldn't pass it up for the price. So now moving on to probably my favorite store ever right now, it is Charlotte Russe. And this is actually a spring related top, but I saw this one and you know, it's not really my typical sort of style of top that I go for because you guys know that I like to wear fitted tops, but this one is definitely in my color range that I normally wear, but it is this top. It's got a v-neck and a little tie up front, and then it has a little scrunchie around the waist and then kind of flares back out. So it's not necessarily 100% fitted, but I thought it was very nice and loose and flowy. It's going to be perfect for spring and spring break, so I'm looking forward to wearing this one. And of course, I loved that it was black and white stripes. Then from Urban Outfitters, I did only get one thing there. I think I still have money left on that gift card, but I did find this top because I had actually seen it online first and liked it. And then I went into the store and saw it and tried it on and liked it even more. And it is just this Tommy Hilfiger New York tank top and I liked this because it was simple you know and I can style it a lot of different ways. That is one thing that I like about tank tops is because they are very versatile as far as how you can style them. And this one of course was Tommy Hilfiger and I love Tommy Hilfiger so of course that's why I got this one. Next is going to be Forever 21 and I actually hadn't been in there in a while but Forever 21 is definitely where I got the most stuff from. So first I got a lot of accessories from Forever 21 and I went in there with the mindset that I was looking for necklaces and stuff because I was wanting to get more. So of course, to start off, since I love silver necklaces and just silver jewelry, I prefer it's my preferred rather than gold, but I saw these three layered necklaces and the thing that I immediately noticed was that they were separate necklaces so that way I can style and pair them with other necklaces other than just these three together because they weren't connected. I just think these are very, very cute and simple and dainty, which is of course my sort of style that I go for for necklaces. And then the next one that I got. This one I thought was also very cute and this is more on the dressy side. These are layered but these are connected which I was fine with because I love how they look together. And then of course since I do love my silver but I was in the mindset of wanting to get more gold necklaces because I noticed that I really didn't have many. So the next one was just this really simple gold chain with a white pearl on it. You know, very basic but very cute and can be styled so many ways. I think pearls just look so classy, which is why I loved this one. Then next up, I have this little, um, it's another gold one, but it's all of these necklaces I got are pretty simple, but another just gold chain, and it has sort of a crescent moon charm on it. I know it's not meant to be a moon, 
but it looks pretty close to one so I'm not exactly sure how else to really describe that but that is what's on that charm. Then the next necklace is another just simple gold chain one but I saw it kind of last minute but it has a California charm on it and no I do not live in California but I do want to eventually someday so I thought it was really really nice and not too big and flashy which is why I liked this one and honestly all of these gold necklaces I think can all be layered and styled so cute together, which is another reason why I just love dainty necklaces. It's so easy to like pair them together. Then probably my favorite and most different necklace that I got was this one right here. And this one I think is perfect, especially for summertime, which okay, seeing this made me wish it was summer even more, especially since I'm not liking this cold weather, but it is actually more so a choker necklace and it's got, um, a like cream color rope and it has gold seashells on it and like all the way around and I thought it was the cutest thing ever especially since I don't have any necklaces like this and I don't see anybody really wearing necklaces like this either so I just saw this and it grabbed my attention immediately. So after my necklaces, the next thing that I saw and thought was very different and that I really liked was these studded triangle earrings right here. Now, you guys can see I've been really stepping out of my comfort zone here, especially going with like gold jewelry and then now these. But these are, of course, triangles and the top part is like a combination of a leopard print but also kind of tortoise shell look. That's honestly how I would describe the pattern. And then it's got a gold trim at the bottom. And I think, of course, these are different and I've been trying to go for some different things currently and so I saw these and picked them out and I'm gonna have fun styling these with my gold jewelry that I got too so I'm excited for that but then the last things that I got from forever 21 would be actually clothes now this is a very very basic piece I know but I had been wanting to get more tube tops for a while now and I wanted to get the basic black one right here and this is a ribbed one which I really like and it fits me very well as well and you know I really just wanted a black one because this is so basic that it can be styled with anything and that is what I loved about it and I loved it so much that I actually already wore it so <laughs> there is that and I really do want to go back and get this in more colors because I did have it in other colors so that is a possible another trip to forever 21 but this is the first thing that i got then the last thing from forever 21 this is also a pretty simple kind of basic top but i also thought it was a little different at the same time and i really like the way this fits on me as well but it is this white top right here it is ribbed it also has these open like cut off sleeves but the Cutouts around the sleeves are also ribbed. It's also got a little bit of a turtleneck, which I love. And the cutest part, I think, is the little band at the bottom that goes around like my waist area. So I think these will be, or this will be so cute paired with a pair of like high-waisted shorts. And it is white, so again, I can style it with any shorts, any sort of bottoms that I want. And it's fitted so I can even pair it with a skirt if I would like. Which, you know, this is just so versatile and I've really just been, honestly, what I've been into is just picking up things that are so versatile as far as clothes. And that way you have endless amount of ways to style your outfits. The next thing I got was from Hollister and this I sadly actually paid for with my own money. I wish I had a gift card because I would have made it so much easier, but I went into Hollister one day and I rarely ever ever go into Hollister but they have some really cute stuff but I went in there one day and I saw these really cute shorts that I liked and then but I didn't buy them right then and there I went back a few days later and I didn't find the same ones which was sad but I did find these pair of shorts right here they are high-rise shorts which is even better that is the best part but I really like these because they are a light wash of denim. I'm not really too into the dark wash denim, but it's just got 
some little pockets in the front. They are actual real pockets because that is a problem that I've noticed. A lot of girls' pants don't have real pockets in the front. I mean, not like I use them anyway, but I guess it's just a cool little thing. <laughs> but that was the other thing. It does have a big enough belt loop around it that I can pair it with any belt because this other pair of shorts that I was looking at didn't have a big enough belt loop that like none of my belts would fit in it so there is that but yeah they are pretty basic shorts but i definitely needed some because i didn't really have any that fit me and you know that's coming up pretty soon here i'm going to be needing shorts and there goes the bag <laughs> so since that is it for clothes and accessories all the stuff that i have left is skincare related products so the next place is lush now i never go in there because not gonna lie their stuff is pricey but of course I had that gift card and there was this one thing in there that I knew smelled amazing because my sister showed it to me and it is the rose jam body spray this smells so good I promise you this bottle is worth it right here it just smells sweet and I don't know I just can't stop smelling it because I love sweet scented things. I'm not really for like the fruity or like musky type scented. This is nice and sweet and smells very girly and I love it so much. I'm so glad I picked this up. My sister had it and I had to go get this too. <laughs> so luckily I got a gift card and that's exactly what I picked up. So then the next thing is Target. I never really go into Target either. And it's kind of funny that I have this giant bag here just for one little thing. So the thing that I got was actually a face mask. Now, Lauren had gotten me this face mask for Valentine's Day and I used it that night and I had, s it, it worked miracles. It worked so well with my skin. So I asked her where she got it from. She said Target. So you bet I was there the very next day and got myself another one, but it is, um, a pore minimizing t-zone or full facial mud mask and it is enriched with natural ingredients it is by the brand Kebella um, I had never heard of this brand until I tried out this one but it worked so great and it was only like $1.99 and so I did purchase this with my own money as well you know $1.99 can't go wrong then the last place that I got some goods from was Ulta now this is probably the most exciting one because I went into Ulta with the mindset of, you know what, I'm gonna find something new to try as far as skincare, because I'm not really into makeup. I'm more so, I'm all for skincare. I love skincare. And not gonna lie, I had been breaking out recently, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try something new with my skincare, why not? And I've got gift cards, so yes, I did have gift cards for Ulta. So I did find two things there. The first one is actually the Soap and Glory brand, and it is called the Porefab 3-in-1 Oil Control Serum. I do tend to get a little bit of oily skin on my nose and forehead, so the T-zone, that's the most common place that people get it. So it says, instantly mattifies, combats shine for up to 12 hours, makes pores look smaller and smooth skin. So you know what, I thought I would give it a try and I've heard some good things about it. I had also never heard of this brand before, so I have not used this yet either, but I'm very excited to try it. I will give you guys an update on it, hopefully. I will let you know. But then the next thing that I got, which I was even more excited for, was the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner. I heard about this maybe like a year ago in a YouTube video that I was watching. It was like some skincare related video and I saw that the girl in the video used witch hazel and since then I had always told myself, oh I really want to try that out. But you know of course since it's stuff going on my face, I'm always really scared to try new things on my face because you know I'm sure anybody would be scared because that's your face. Makes sense. But I have heard nothing but positive reviews on this, so I'm really excited to try this one as well. So I have not tried this, but oh my gosh, I can't tell you how excited I am. I will also definitely give you an update on this too and what I think, hopefully in another future video because, you know, I have some fun ones planned. 
um, that might include this kind of stuff. That is it for this random haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below what is on your list of anything that you are looking forward to getting for springtime, whether it be clothes, accessories, anything that's on your list that you're wanting to get. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and so you never miss any of my videos, turn on my post notifications so you will be notified right away when I post a new video because I do have some exciting spring related ones coming. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.